Uh, it was exactly 27 years ago yesterday that up the road a, a show called Les Miserables opened to no advance, uh, an enthusiastic but quite small, uh, a big, well, a big audience, but it, but nobody knew what it was, and, and and it took London by storm and the world by storm, which is a great tribute to the original brilliant production and cast. And without the worldwide success of the show, we would not be all here tonight celebrating what I am just bowled over with, a simply marvellous movie version of Les Miserables, which pays uh, every homage to the show, but is entirely a movie. It's what the authors and I very much wanted to do, and when Tom Hooper set us to work, we, we wanted to create something that could only be for a movie, rather than be stagey, and uh, that's what I feel we've achieved. I've always known that it, would only, it needed a director's vision to come and drive what a movie would be. I've always had a feeling in my bones that it would make a great movie, but it needed somebody who is a movie maker to do that and set us to work. Um, and because the thing is that Alain, Claude, Michel and I uh, know the show so well, we, we, we are never afraid of change, but we always sense when the change is right. And, you know, Tom inspired us to make changes. And, uh, and, and quite often we slightly surprised him by being more radical than he was in our, in, and he said, oh, you don't mind moving that or losing this? Or, and, and we didn't. Um, and, and I think the result has been something that's been to totally organic. It's a wonderful fusion, actually, of theatre talents and movie talents. You know, the two worlds had to come together to create something unique.